great is how can I set up and put my heirs in position for a greater head start than the one I had? Now, if we start to do that as a community, we can start to bridge the wealth gap. But if we're not really intentional about setting up for our heirs or learning the strategies we need to educate our heirs, we are being what I call a poor CEO of your last name. Next lesson. Somebody tell me what CEO means? Say it again. The, the CEO is the chief executive officer. of an organization. Well, let me break it down for you a little bit better. The, C the CEO, I need Crenshaw to say leader. Leader. And he's lost to say visionary. Visionary. The CEO is the leader and visionary of an organization. You have to be the best CEO for your last name. Somebody got to take on that responsibility in this generation to be the new patriarch, the new matriarch. On three, everybody scream your last name. One, two, three. <laughs> For that last name. <laughs> Somebody has to be looking. See, in an organization, this is what I learned during my 15-year journey managing tens of millions of dollars of real estate and business assets. Is that in an organization... You have a COO. The COO is the chief operating officer. The chief operating officer is the one that looks with their head down, making sure the operations in the day-to-day -day go successful. The CEO has his or her head up, looking at the future of the organization, leading it towards future success. So if none of us take on a responsibility of what do the Morrisons look like in 2040, 2060, 2080, the year 3000. If no one's taking on responsibility to be the chief executive officer or leader and visionary of this organ of your last name, which is an organization, you're not being intentional about building family wealth. You just talking about it. You don't got no succession plan, you ain't got no will. You got insurance on your phone, but not on your life. Yeah. You got insurance on your car, insurance on your phone. But you pass and you gotta do a chicken fry to bury you. Right. <laughs> Horrible CEO for your last name and it's your fault. If you someone, no, we need a little beating up mom. We need a little right. butt kicking mom. That's right. That's right. That's right. Too much shucking and driving and partying and ish. That's right. And nobody talking straight to us and talking plain. That's right. That's right. Wanna have all this fun? You went to all the concerts, all the games. Come down and spend seventy dollars a month for a quarter million dollar, half million dollar life insurance policy. Oh, we can't afford that. But a family vacation every year. Birthdays every birthday. Valentine's Day every Valentine's Day. Christmas every Christmas, and you ain't even Christian. <laughs> You're doing all this celebrating, all this liability and debts, and not enough intergenerational asset building. So how your family gonna win? You gotta be intentional about it. What's intentional mean? Say it again. On One more time. On Crenshaw say it. Slauson say it. On Crenshaw again. Slauson again. On we gotta go build this family wealth on purpose. But it's not gonna happen if everybody looking around like, oh, you got it. Oh, you got it. Oh, you got it. Oh, you gonna do it. Oh, you gonna do it. <laughs> Somebody got to be intentional about saying, yo, I got us. It's on me. Somebody got to step up. Say your last name again. One, two, three. Somebody got to step up for them and say, yo, I got us. It's going to be hard work. You want to take on the reputational risk. See, I stepped up for our community and said, yo, I got us. 
Despite them agencies, despite this, despite that, despite all of I got us. Because if nobody steps up to organize us to build community wealth, we have no community wealth. We're just talking. Where are we supposed to get the money from? Well, it has to be done on purpose. A lot of us can't even get jobs because they have felons. Like, what are those people supposed to do? I'm so sorry. I'm no sorry. problem, Queen. I got you. Lesson coming. Okay. She said, where do we get the money from? Oh, I'm getting to where the money come from. Right now, I'm trying to tell you what you got to do once you get it. See, I'm not worried about you getting a job or now because you can't get a job, you better create a job. I'm not worried about being employable, I'm the employer. And I'll tell you how to do that too in a second. Chris, y'all remember what wealth is? No, no, stop, stop, stop. I want to see if y'all got what wealth is, Chris.